yeah, I've had a pretty good third trimester. A lot of energy, we were in the comfort of our own home, and it was starting to get, you know, it's getting closer to the time when I'm not gonna be pregnant anymore. And so things started to actually feel better in a way. And the weather was cooling off, been able to climb and hike and Harder reach because he doesn't want to fall with me now. <laughs> but he'll lead a little bit. <laughs> He's on the two and a half hour five mile hikes. <laughs> yeah, we, we got home from Greece and I'm still Adrian's kind of diving back into Alpen Glow. I'm still doing quite a bit of speaking. A little bit more travel for the next 10 days and then after that I'll be at 36 weeks and we are going to stay home until the baby's born and then obviously after the baby's born for a little while so it's kind of like the last hurrah it's true starting so October 20th we actually are finally saying no to things to travel to jobs and it's like I feel good. like it's a little it's monumental in a whole yeah. world to actually say no. I'm really looking forward to it, actually. We have this idea of maybe like three or four weeks on our own, still no baby, just like being at home with a little less on our plates. We'll see how that actually plays out, but it sounds really nice. Oh, I asked him to set up a route on top rope for me. And he did, but he didn't send, and then I sent it. <laughs> right. <laughs> he was honest, though. He was like, I think it's only 5'11. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I did it. And then he said it was an ego check, because I'm eight and a half months pregnant. I think he would have been okay with it if I was not eight, eight and a half months pregnant, if I was maybe seven months pregnant. <laughs> I was saying I scratched my stomach on a volume. And I was saying, poor Sprinkle, don't be fucking running him into things. He doesn't have a helmet on. Yeah, but he basically has a, a body helmet on. Hey, Tara, what name did you guess? Well, it's not actually close, but I was like, it's kind of along the same, like, like I like that name. Which we also really love. We, like, all of those names, we were like, oh, those are great names. Second kid, they get a baby Sprinkle. So they're... Acknowledging that you shouldn't just walk up to someone and touch them. Yeah, <laughs> that would be a really I'm doing a no -no. educational <laughs> thing to put a dangerous Unless thing. you're very good friends, <laughs> don't do this. Okay. Yeah. PSA, everyone. I kind of feel something right now. Yeah, he's always right there. Yeah. It's hard. It really does feel like if you choose to have a kid, you kind of like, kind of like join the team. Yeah, you join a club for sure. <laughs> it's been really rad to feel that. I think we travel so much. We know we have a really strong community here and a lot of love in Tahoe. But um, sometimes we're just not, on a daily basis, very connected to that team. And 
this support we felt has made me really confident that we can do this. We can have a kid. Yes. Well, we are. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. I think we're committed. It's happening. Day one, detouring. 39 weeks.